What's up, everybody? Zip is having 12 here, bringing you back another episode of Not Just Put and also in Storm 4 Beginner to Master. If you have never heard of this series before, it's just basically where I choose one character out of the whole roster. I tell you guys everything I know about that character. That means their powers, tip, tricks, anything that I can find out. In today's character, we're actually going to be doing Sarada Uchiha. Now, this has been highly requested by many of you guys, so you know what? I'm a do her right now so she's a very high requested character now um this this is gonna be the first version i may be gonna do the second version later but this is the this is the first version so uh, what i think i started she is she is a close slash rank a mid-range character someone like that because her combos can extend out into the mid-range and most of her jutsus are like back into long range to mid range so she is pretty much good for any type of range there is she's very um she's very useful in those situations so i'm gonna do a beginning my tutorial on her i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you have not and make sure to tell me who else you want me to use for the next episode but without further ado let's get started <laughs> Alright, so, so, when I, so first I like to um, put my characters into four separate types. Into, I, mean, I like to put my characters into four categories. Attack, defense, speed, or technique. Now, I, at least personally, I think Sada is a defense type user. And usually what defense type users are, they usually have um, their whole moveset slash combos based on defense. Like uh, they may have a special, they may have a good air combo. They may have a jutsu that allows them to keep the opponent back. Their combos may be slow, but they're actually kind of bulky. I think that's what Sarada is because just because she she has like a little bit of range to her attacks, and they also have a little bit of range to her jutsus as well. So I kind of call her a defense type, a little uh, like a fast defense type. All right, so now we're gonna go work on through we're gonna go through her combos. Um, and let's see what they look like. Here's the neutral combo. Windmill Shadows! Alright, here's the down combo. Alright, and here's the up combo. There we go. Alright, so let's go on to the neutral combo first. So the neutral combo is actually the slowest combo there is. Like, this, this combo is really slow uh, than the other combos of course this, I mean it's not the slowest combo in the, in the world but it's just slower than the um uh, the combo she has right now now the down combo is actually the fastest but it does less damage but there is actually a special a special frame of the hit box where if you get caught if you caught in these little few frames then you're pretty much stuck in it and you're gonna get hit by the cutscene so what I mean right Wow, right there. When she throws the shuriken, you can't sub. So basically, if Naruto subs right where I throw the shuriken, right there, if he subs that, then he can't. He, he's gonna get hit by the cutscene. So he's basically wasting two subs. So this is kind of like a insubbable combo right here, right after he um, you hit the shuriken. Oh my god, I cannot stop. Okay, yeah. Okay, I just want to mention that. It's, it's the fastest combo and also there's like a little frame where you can't sub. Same thing with the um, the neutral combo. Now the neutral combo, right there, on the second hit, right there, or the third hit if you want, right there, bang. It, it's like a, th a th combo, I don't know what this is, but you can actually throw this and it actually goes, does it go across the map? Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, you can actually throw this across the map. And this is why Sarada is so weird yet good. She has this little combo right here that goes across the map when she throws Shuriken. And it's so weird, but it's actually very useful. So I would say use this like this. Oh, dang it. There you go. So one, two, like that. That's how I would use it because this goes across the map. If you hit it, they're stunned. They're, they're in the stun phase. Like that. See, right there. You can just accelerate on that. You just... Mm, 
Like right when they get stunned, you can just do a little cold combo just like that. Especially if they had no subs. Then you especially want to do that. And let me see. Uh, and let's go with the up combo. Now the up combo, I actually didn't find anything special besides that she throws the shoot. Oh, yes. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. If, if Sarada is at long range and you use the up combo, she throws Shuriken at long range and the Shuriken lock on to the opponent. This is also another reason why Sarada is so useful at any range. Look at this, and you, I think you can dodge them, but they're, they're actually really hard to dodge. But still, this is amazing right here. You can keep your opponent back just by using the up combo. So you can actually spam this mess out. And you can keep on getting back, keep on keeping your distance. Probably if you have like a bar health more than the opponent, you can keep back and probably time them out if you want to play that way. You can do any type of way, and that's just why Sada is so useful. Alright, so now we're going to go on to her air combo. Now, her air combo is actually kind of booty. It's... is Her air combo itself isn't that bad, but her first hit right here, that little stanky leg right there, that is not gonna hit nobody. I I, I, I promise you, this is not gonna hit nobody. This is like like bad than Shisui's leg, and his his air combo is very bad. But um, her air combo, if you do get it off, her air combo is actually quick. It's actually quick and actually easy to uh, to dash out of. But right here, her first hit is it's just bad. It's it's like it really can't hit anything. So I really wouldn't rely on it. But, yeah, but her air combo itself is good. It's just her first hit is bad. Alright, so now we're going to go into his tilt. Her tilt. Not her. Her tilt and her grab. Now, we're going to do her grab first. Now, her grab is actually just like Sakura's, where she does like a little uppercut, and then she goes into a cutscene. Alright, so how I would combo cancel it, and what I've been doing when I was practicing with Sarada online, um, the best way to do... To be, the best way to combo cancel it into her um, grab is actually to do a tilt or to do the neutral combo. So I'm gonna show you the neutral combo first. The neutral combo is just the, it's the very same two hits at close range. So, bang bang. Not that, not that. Just like that. Right there. So once you do that, oh my god, don't do the tilt. Do not do the tilt. Bang bang, grab. Because the shooting that she throws out in her combo, it makes the opponent stunned for a little bit, allowing you to grab. Plus, it's either like they, they better sub or they're going to hit by the grab. One of those. So it's kind of making your opponent force, it's it's forcing your opponent to sub. And you better sub this or you're going to get hit by the grab. Bang, bang. And the other way how I would use it is doing the um, tilt. Now to get this, uh, we're going to talk about the tilt in a second, but you do this, uh, if you do get it off, just like that. If you do get the tilt off, tilt, get hit by it, dash, grab. It's so smooth. Like, this is probably the, the, the smoothest, coolest grab I have ever seen. It's so, it's so good. Bam, bam, bam. Just like that. It's like, it's so quick. Like, they, even if they do have subs, they, it, it go too fast for their faces. It will go just too fast. Alright, so now that we talked about the tilt, uh, we're actually going to talk about it. So, the tilt is, of course, I was showing you, she sets up this trap, kind of like PTS Sakura and her Jutsu, which is a trap that a whole bunch of Shuriken comes down. It doesn't do any damage, but the reason why this tilt is so good is just because it holds them in place for a little bit longer than usual, which is amazing. So, a lot of people don't know how to get this tilt off. So, the way how I would use it, it's the same way how I would use it with uh, close range tilts. Um, wait for them to chakra dash into my guard, then I do my tilt, and then I switch my character. So, let's say Naruto chakra dash into my guard, I would use my tilt, switch my character, and then dash into them, and then push them into the trap. So let me show you one more time, so... Naruto dash, I tilt, oh, oh man. There we go, just like that. Okay, I ain't trying to switch his on now. And... Is that everything? Yeah. Alright, so like this. I like to do this. Switch while... Switch while she tilts. Switch while she tilts. 
and that allows me to change my character and then Chakra Dash with Boruto instead of Sarada. Like that. Just oh, the trap's gone. Really. Sorry about that. Just just like this. So if your point is closed, you do this, bang, and then you can actually push them into the trap. That's the whole my that's my thing of how I use um Sada's tilt. There you go. So it's something like that. But this tilt is actually so useful because it's a trap. So if so if your whole if your whole opponent's team has close range characters, and they're gonna have to get close to you, like Rock Lee. I know he's a big one. Um, who else? Uh, Mod oh, yeah, Madra in some way or Neji, something like that. You can actually put this tilt down, stay near it, and kind of bait your opponent to come near. It, and sooner or later, if you play your cards right, they will get hit by the tilt. You can do a whole bunch of damage, and bada bing, bada boom. Simple as that. Or if you want to get fancy, let me see. Can I, wait, can I see my two strike back? I think so, right? Yeah. You know, shadows. No, wait, wait. I think I gotta do this part. Paper bomb. Oh, there we go. I don't recommend using this, but it looks freaking cool if you do it this way. You do your open juice camps like this. So what I do was I use my paper bomb, wait for Borto Stripe back, use my tilt, and then use my ultimate jutsu. I don't re I don't recommend you doing it that way because it actually takes a lot out of you, a lot of um, a lot of essential utensils out of you. But I won't make it do that way. It just looks cool. All right, so now we're gonna go into his uh her excuse me her combo no not combo um her jutsu and ultimate jutsu cancel. All right, so her jutsu is actually lightning. Like a, a um, long range projectile that a long range projectile that goes across the map and electrifies the opponents. Does this go across the map? Yeah, it actually does go across the map. Now, this jutsu has a, the electricity from the jutsu has a little bit of range to it. I don't know what this is. Maybe it's supposed to be like this, but it's like even if I miss, let me see if I can get Naruto to jump. Alright, yeah, Nard's not gonna jump over it. Yeah, he's the one I'm saying. He's a stupid computer. But it's like, the, this Jutsu has a big... The lightning has a big hitbox. So even if it misses, the lightning won't miss. So if, if they're, like, even close to this Jutsu, and you miss, the lightning will hit, him for, hit her for some reason. So, like, all the path of lightning that goes down the lightning flicker is still active. It's still, it's, like, it's still active, so they can still get hit by the lightning, which is, it's, it's, it's a nice effect. It doesn't do any damage. It just kind of holds them in place a little bit. But this is actually a long range jutsu. There's actually no way to combo into it, so I would say just use this as a support type jutsu. So it's almost like this. Use this. Just like that. And you can also use it in the air, which I always like to do, most likely. It goes in a downward motion, just like that. So. In my opinion, this is good for long-range battling and support. Those two is, are amazing with this Jutsu. Just like that. So, it's this is pretty good. It's like, a, imagine like a, a, a projectile Chidori. This is what this is. It does pretty good damage for, for a Jutsu. And, yeah, just that good. Alright, so now we're going to his ult her ultimate Jutsu. Cancel. Okay, yeah, um, I have no idea what is going on because I could have swore that Sarda had an ultimate juicy cancel in one of her combos, but I can't seem to find it for some reason. So I'm guessing they must have passed her up or something because I can't find it. Like, I've, I've been trying for a while and this, like, I know it's been a while since I played Sarda, but I know she had an ultimate juicy combo. There we go, I actually found it now. Wow, I was like, I was doing this for about like 15 more minutes. What the heck? Jeez, they must they must have nerfed this girl hard because I don't remember her her like her ultimate awesome cancer being like that. Now let me see. I I can remember what I did. Oh my god, are you serious? That is so stupid. All right. This ultimate GC cancel is actually going to be harder than expected. 
All right, so here's here's how it is. I'm gonna turn this off because I already found it. All right, so it is one, two. Okay, so it's on the fifth hit, not the sixth hit. Right there, so you saw where I made two slashes for my kunai. So after the, right there, right there. So you actually have to, you actually have to cancel on the first hit of that slash. The first hit. No, don't. See, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. You can't, you, you, you can't do on the second hit. You gotta do on the first hit of that kunai slash. And then that's her ultimate juicy cancel. No, I do not. I do not want to do too. All right, let me see if I can do this. There we go. Yeah, this ultimate juicy is stupid. I, Cause I do, I do not, do not remember it being it that way. But uh, hey, you got what well, we what you got. So this is her ultimate juicy cancel. Just this is actually a pretty hard one. If it took me a while to get this. So it's on the it's on the fifth hit, that little second kunai strike right there. Uh, the the first hit of that kunai strike right there. Shake one more time. There we go. I got it. Yeah, that's basically what it is. All right, but there is also another way. And more more fun way to cancel turtles Majutsu. You can either use a paper bomb or you can use a uh, a strike back from anything. You you have to have a strike back. That's basically what it is. You use a paper bomb. Tilt. So basically, what I did earlier in this uh, tutorial, basically any strike back you use your tilt and then you use your ultimate. Anything. So you can just use it like that. That's that could be easier for you. I don't know. All right, so now, last but not least, we're gonna go on to her awakening. So let's see. So her awakening is actually pretty booty. It's it's pretty much just normal normal Sarada, but just you know what they're starting on. It's it, there's there's no difference whatsoever. This actually just does more damage. Wait, does she? Okay, yeah. I, I don't think this. Yeah, yeah. There's something special about this uh, awakening, right? Yeah, there's yeah, there's no special yeah, there's nothing special with this awakening. So I would say use this awakening just like as you would normal solder though. Except a little bit more close range because it's kinda of stupid to use solder at long range for 15 seconds. But that is the end of this tutorial, I guess. Cause I hmm. I actually thought there was something else to this uh awakening, but I guess not. I guess it's okay. But Sarada is a very good character. Um, she, she's very useful, and I think she's a handy support type character, but if you do, if you get good with this girl, whew, if you get good with this girl, she has amazing potential. Thank you guys for watching this game master video on Sarada. Make sure to leave a like and tell me who, which character you want me to do next time. My name is Zeta12, and I'll see you guys, well, next time.